Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new video by the Dash Course platform. So, my name is Johan, and I will be your host in this video. In this video, we will learn how we can implement Touch ID and Face ID using the local authentication framework which is provided by Apple. So, Touch ID and Face ID. With Touch ID and Face ID, we are able to log in to our devices using our fingerprint or a scan of our face. And this is actually really secure. It's more secure than a password. And it's actually one of the most used login methods on mobile phones today. So I thought it would be really interesting to learn this. So, as you can see, I have my Xcode already open. This is the project which we built in a video a couple of weeks ago. And we're going to enhance it by adding Touch ID and Face ID into the system using local authentication. So, local authentication. Local authentication is a framework which is provided by Apple. And it actually is connected to the secure enclave of the device. And the secure enclave is like this really microchip on the, on the motherboard or in the Mac, which is, um, how do you say it, which handles the authentication, the keychain, and all the other personal secrets and information, which has to be secure, right? And the secure enclave takes care of all this. So let's go to the project. The first thing I'm going to do, we go on the import UI kit. We're actually going to call import local authentication. So the local authentication is the framework which allows us to implement the system. So as you can see, we have here like this, uh, this label and we have here, we have like the image. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to take here the, um, the login with email and we're actually going to change email to touch ID. And now we're going to control drag this and we're going to call this an IB action and we're going to call this touch ID button pressed. Perfect. Okay. So as you can see now we have an IB action and the first thing we're going to do is let local authentication context is equal to LA context. So the LA context is the local authentication context and this is actually the information which we use when we want to log in and so on and so on. So after the LA context we're going to do something else. We're going to do var authorization error is ns error and we're going to make this an optional and under there let reason equals authentication required to log in okay so next we're going to do some if else magic so if local authentication context dot can evaluate policy and the policy is going to be dot device authentication with biometrics and the error is going to be this weird sign so I think it's the end sign I think that's how you call it and we're going to call authorization error after that curly braces and inside the curly braces we're going to do local authentication context dot evaluate evaluate policy that is this one no that's this one the second one and this is going to be device authentication with biometrics then we have the localized reason is going to be reason and we're going to delete the reply, we don't need that. And after that, curly braces. And we're going to do success, comma, evaluate, evaluate error in. And next is if success, print. Yay, now we are logged in. 
And under here we have this one, we're going to do else, then we do guard let error is equal to evaluate error else return. And then under here we're going to do print error, then we're going to check this one, then we need to be with this curly brace. And that's going to be else, guard, let, uh, error, and authorization reason, uh, authorization error, else, return. Then next line, under here we're going to do print, error. Okay, so there's a lot of code here. I think it's complaining about something. Oh, yes, we forgot one. So, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, okay. So, as you can see, there's a whole chunk of code. So, I'm going to explain to you now. As you can see here, line 29 till 30, we actually created some variables and some constants. A constant of the local authentication context is equal to LA context. LA context is actually the information we use from the local authentication framework. Also, the authorization error is an NS error, so that we can actually handle uh, the error when something goes wrong. And we have here, we have a reason which we paste in over here. So, let's try this out. Let's open up an iPhone 13. Oh, wait a second, iPhone 13 doesn't have Touch ID, of course. Let's open up an iPhone 8 Plus. Oh, as you can see, it gave some errors. I think we still need to fix it. I think I made a type, a type uh, or a writing error. Oh, wait a second, I found it. I think we need to add one here. Yes. Okay, then we have an else, card let. It's this else and this else is too much, I think. Yes, this is too much. Return, we're gonna get here. One more time, we're gonna do a full reindent. So this looks better. This one, we're gonna take away. I'm gonna put it in here. And we have this one too much. Mean to do a do statement? No, I didn't. What's happening here? Guard let error oh equals so authorization error else. I'm going to cut this one out, put it in here. And now everything should be okay. This one goes over here. All right, so the UI is back. So let's test this. So we have a login with Touch ID. When we click this, and then we see an error. So no identities are enrolled. User info, debug description, identities are enrolled. Okay, so we don't have an identity yet. So what we can do, we can go to file. Let me check really quick. I think here, touch ID, we click on enrolled. And when we click on login touch ID, as you can see, now you get the error authentication required to login. And when we click on here, it's canceled. And when we click on here, then we click on features, touch ID, matching touch. And as you can see, yay, now we are locked in. Pretty cool, right? So let's give this one more thingy that I want to do. I want to show you guys. We can actually segue to a new view. So 
we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. So in here, we're gonna go to the plus. I'm gonna call view controller. Gonna drag it into here. Okay. Then we're gonna do a control drag from here to there. And we're gonna call this show. So now we created a segue. We're gonna create a segue. We give this an identifier of um, logged in. Perfect. And if success, we're gonna do perform segue with identifier. And the identifier is gonna be logged in. And the sender is any.self. Let's run this one more time. What's this? Okay, self, self dot perform segue with identifier. Let's run this one more time. And login with touch ID. Features, touch ID, and we're gonna do matching touch. And it crashes again. Why are you crashing? Hmm, I think we have to uh, work with dispatch queue. So for, for the people who don't know what dispatch queue is, dispatch queue is actually a way of um, of actually manipulate threads uh, threads of the um, of the system. So we can do dispatch queue. That's this one. Dot main. Dot async. And then in here we can actually. I'm gonna paste this one in. Comment x. Comment v. And we're actually gonna make the sender nil. And let's run this. Let's see if this does something. Or if this works, here we go. Login with Touch ID, features, oh, features, Touch ID, matching touch. Yay! We are logged in now, and as you can see, we actually segwayed to the new video of the new uh, view. So, I'm sure this is going to work with Face ID as well. Um, I'm not going to test it, but I'm going to let you guys test it. Mm, as you can see, what just happened here, right? Like the coding part, I actually made a mistake. I'm not gonna edit this out. I just wanted to. Uh, I want you. I want you guys to share. I want you guys to see how coding works because this is exactly how coding works. You try something, it doesn't work. You try it again. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something, and I hope you understand a little bit how TouchID um, works now. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a like. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to join my Discord channel or uh, leave a comment. If you have any other questions, same thing. And if you want a follow-up video about this, that maybe we can actually extend this a little bit more using segways, let me, let me know in the comments below. So, thank you for watching this video, and I see you next time.